Welcome to Durga Yoga Online. I'm Paula Mitten. And today we're going to do a five minute seated practice to bring some dynamic movement to the joints and start to warm up the body. So you can make yourself comfortable sitting. If you find it challenging to sit flat on the floor, raise your hips, put a couple of cushions underneath you or a bolster or some yoga blocks, something that will lift your hips a little bit higher and allow you to sit more easily. And then we'll rest the hands down onto the knees and then lower the chin to the chest and start to create circles with the head. So you're inhaling as you roll the head back and exhaling as you roll the chin towards the chest, releasing through the back of the neck, letting go of any tightness that might be held there. And then in your own time, circle the opposite way, reverse your circles slowly easing out that tightness noticing if there's any spots that feel like they need a little bit more attention just being aware of that as your chin comes down to your chest now interlace the fingers over the back of the head and gently draw down with the hands so you're stretching all along the back of the neck breathing slowly so we're always breathing through the practice never holding the breath and then you can slide the hands to the back of the neck, lift the head, lift the gaze, gently draw up with the hands like you're stretching into the joints of the neck a little bit more, creating some space between the head and the spine. And when you're ready, nice and slow, release the head back to center. Let your fingertips come to the floor. And we'll start to sweep from side to side stretching along from the hip to the fingertips. You're inhaling up and exhaling over that nice rhythmic movement, working with your breath, keeping the hips grounding down. So that stretch goes right into the outer hip. And then coming all the way back into center, change the cross of your legs, take the opposite leg in front and sitting up nice and tall again. Interlace the fingers, and as you breathe out, round through your spine, press your palms away from you. As you inhale, sit tall, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, release the hands, bring them behind the back, take an interlace of the fingers, and as you inhale, open into the chest, roll the shoulders back. We'll do that sequence again. Exhale, interlace the fingers and round the spine. Inhale, sitting tall, arms up overhead. Exhale as the hands release and come behind the back and breathe in as you open the front body and reach the knuckles towards the floor. One more round. Exhale, interlace the fingers, round the back body, palms press away from you. Inhale to sit tall and reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, releasing the hands, take them behind the back and inhale as you open into the chest. When you're ready, release the hands. We'll take a breath in and sweep the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, turn to the right. Your left hand is on your right thigh, your right hand is on the floor. Take a breath in and sit as tall as you can. With your out breath, twist a little bit further to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Take the arms up overhead and exhale, turn to the left. Right hand to left leg, left hand on the floor. Breathe in, lengthen up through the spine and exhale, twist a little bit further. As you inhale, come back to center. Take the arms up, palms meet and exhale, the hands lower down. Now uncross your legs, plant the feet to the floor, hold on to the knees and we'll move the spine through a seated cat cow. As you breathe out, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest and as you breathe in, send the chest forward and lift the gaze to look up. Exhale, rounding the spine, hollowing the belly, tucking the chin. Inhale as you roll the chest open, lifting the gaze, shoulders back. Continue back and forth with your breath. Working all the way along the length of the spine, releasing any tension through the upper body. Imagine moving vertebra by vertebra at your own pace, bringing as much movement into the joints of the spine as you can. And then making your way right back into center, 
We'll bring the soles of the feet together, hold on to the ankles or the shins, and little butterfly movements with the legs up and down, loosen into the hips. And then let the legs relax. And you might stay here, or if the pelvis will allow you to tilt forward, you can take a forward fold there at the hips. Keep the spine nice and long, so the front body is still open. Shoulders stay soft, elbows a little bent. And as you breathe in, come back up. And then you can use the hands to draw the legs back in, slide them out in front. And that's it for today. So have a great day and I will see you again very soon.